Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I'm gonna look at a question concerning deer. Mmm, venison. What I wanna know is the ideal number of villagers to use when hunting. In general, you'll see players use anywhere from two to four villagers, but I was curious to see exactly what the difference is. Here we have some mills with deer not too far away and different numbers of villagers taken from each deer. I'll be assuming you don't have wheelbarrow as a lot of the time deer are taken in late dark age or early feudal age, though I will address how wheelbarrow affects the results a bit later. I'm going to leave in any bumping that the villagers do on the way, as well as wait until the very last villager drops their food off, since villager bumping is a real inefficiency you encounter when you have a lot of them doing the same task. Testing it out with 6 villagers, I get a gather rate of around 19 food per minute, which is roughly on par with dark age farming. But as we try it with fewer numbers of villagers, that rate goes up by around 1 food per minute per villager. I'd attribute that to the fact that each of the four villagers is carrying more than the six, meaning that for the time investment spent in walking, each villager is getting longer to actually collect food. Now with three villagers we hit a critical point where they can't collect from the deer in a single trip anymore. They can only carry 35 food each, and when they fill up there should be about 12 or 13 food left. The first trip is very efficient, but if you let them do the second trip for the last bit of food, you get an extra 9 or so food for a combined 48 seconds of walking. Not a good collection rate at all. For that reason, I'll separate three villagers into those two cases. One where you micro to cut them off after the first trip, and another where you let them take both trips. It's a similar thing with two villagers, though with one villager I'll include all three trips he needs to make. Putting it all together, you can see that the total food decreases as you use fewer villagers, since they take longer to get the food, which increases the time for decay to steal the rest. But on the other hand, with more than four villagers, you start to have a noticeable drop off in overall collection rate efficiency. Now one thing you might reasonably point out here is that the deer are very close to the drop off points, which underweights the negative impact of walking time. I'll repeat the test, this time with a distance of 12 tiles instead of 4. That distance might be a bit extreme, but it'll give us a sense of how impactful multiple long trips can be. The first thing you'll notice, besides the much lower rates overall, is that the highest villager numbers are particularly impacted. A small part of that is coming from the confused bumping that happens when you have a group of villagers all go to the same spot and then all try to drop off their food at the same time, but the bigger factor is again that each of these 6 villagers are only carrying about 60% of their maximum capacity before the deer is used up, so they're not spending as much time making good use out of that really long walk. That leads to a sharp drop in gather rate for only a bit more food. Notice that with 3 villagers, again you really want to cut them off before they take their second trip, as there won't be enough food left over to make that worth it. If anything, we're seeing the same trends as the shorter distance, but magnified, meaning the further the deer are away, the more important it is to make sure that each trip brings back as close to the villagers carry capacity as possible. So now let's address the quintessential deer question of whether you should mill with 2, 3 or 4 villagers. It's pretty easy to see why there isn't a clear consensus on the question, as the rates are all pretty comparable if the deer is close to the mill. For longer distances, it does start to matter though. First of all, I'm going to throw out 2 as the best general rule, since it involves either giving up about half of the food from the deer if you stop them after one trip, or if you do let them make 2 trips, they just end up with the same rate as 4 villagers, but with a lot less food in the bank. As for whether to go with 3 or 4 villagers, when the deer are close, say within 4 tiles, the difference is modest, but when the walking distance increases, what it really comes down to is whether you value the total food collected or the collection rate. 3 villagers can definitely gather at a faster rate, assuming you only let them do one trip and leave the last 12 or 13 food to rot. That ensures they only carry the maximum they can, but at the same time it seems a bit wasteful. If you let them make the second trip to get the last of that food though, then 3 becomes significantly worse than 4, both in terms of the final food count and the collection rate overall. Unless you're keeping a close eye on the 3 villagers and redirecting them after their first drop off, or if you have wheelbarrow, which allows them to collect the whole deer in one trip, then I'd say 4 is the optimal choice. It involves less micromanagement and is a decent balance of getting most of the food while also getting reasonably close to the ideal collection rate. Combing a bit more through the data offers another interesting question though. 
If greater villager numbers generally reduce gather rates, how should you split up a group of six hunters? To test this question, I picked a moderate distance of just six tiles. I know it might look a little far for a mill placement, but remember deer often run away from your villagers, so I think it's a reasonable average. Those six villagers working together collect 252 food in 140 seconds, which is an average of 18 food per minute for each villager. You might think you can help yourself out by snagging another close deer on the way back to increase your efficiency, but in my case that actually lowered the rate to just under 17 food per minute. There probably are situations that would work in your favor though, like if your villagers aren't carrying very much and a deer happens to wander into their path. If instead I took those six villagers and split them into two groups of three, it gave a much better result of 20 food per minute. That is, if you stop them after the first drop off and take the 210 food. If I let the groups do their second trip, I get an average of 18 food per minute. That's about the same rate as keeping all six together, but with an extra 28 food rotting away. This shows again that if you're going to use groups of three, there's a very clear distinction made between letting them take one trip for maximum efficiency or two trips for maximum food. Until you get wheelbarrow, three villagers require some micromanagement in order to utilize well. So what about getting fancy with it though, and having three villagers do the first trip, and then sending only one back to collect the 10 or so food left over, while the other two villagers go on to a different deer? Is that beating the system? Well, not really. The one villager making the second trip is only collecting 10, which again isn't ideal. Before Wheelbarrow, you'd be better off splitting them into a group of four and two if you wanted to maximize the collection rate, or leave them as a group of six if you want to maximize the total food. Splitting into groups of three gives a combination of the worst aspects of the other two options. Again though, just to be confusing, after Wheelbarrow, groups of three give the best rate. Now all of that being said, some of you may know there are a few exceptions for specific civilizations. Goths and Aztecs, for example, both have bonuses that let their hunters carry more. In those cases, even before Wheelbarrow, three Goth or Aztec villagers can carry all of the meat on a deer in one trip. Similarly, Vikings also get Wheelbarrow right away in Feudal Age, so as soon as you advance, switching to groups of three should be automatic. On the other hand, there are a couple of other civilizations that get extra meat out of their deer, which impacts their ideal number in the other direction. For example, Mongols faster hunting means decay has less time to occur, so there's more meat for the villagers to take. In their case, four villagers is a bit better than normal because they get closer to reaching their maximum carry capacity. It's a similar thing for Mayans who get more resources from whatever they're gathering from, including deer. It works out that four villagers is perfect for them in Dark Age, where by getting a little bit more food out of the deer than other civilizations, all four villagers are basically at their maximum carry capacity. The big takeaway from all of this is, unless you're one of those civilizations, if you have wheelbarrow, go with groups of three. If you don't have wheelbarrow, four is fine, unless you really don't care about wasting food and want to maximize efficiency, in which case, go with three. But don't forget to retask them after the first trip. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.